Hello and a very warm welcome to the Blockchain Funk YouTube channel, the channel that talks about all things crypto. Guys, today we're talking about Rex 2.0. But let me ask you a question. If you had the option to rewind the clocks back and buy Hex on the opening day, would you do it? Guys, buckle your seatbelt because this is going to be an interesting one. Now we're seeing a new financial system being created on the blockchain, we know that, and the traditional legacy financial system has failed us all. Therefore, decentralized immutable smart contracts deployed on the blockchain for the people, by the people, are now becoming a new thing. CDs, certificates of deposit, are a very big part of that. Now, if you know HEX and what HEX is, here today we are talking about REX. Now, notice it's called REX 2.0. It's called REX 2.0 because this is not REX's first rodeo. In fact, REX, they did have 1.0, which unfortunately failed miserably. So stay tuned for that because I was an investor in REX 1.0 and I'll be letting you know what happened with me there. But anyway, so REX 2.0 uh, is basically a certificate of deposit, exactly the same principle as REX. However, there are some interesting new features. First feature is that you can withdraw interest. Now, I don't particularly agree with this feature myself because I think that if you're gonna be in a smart contract of this nature, a certificate of deposit, you shouldn't really be able to extract interest and then potentially put downward pressure on the price of the token. You've got to stay in for the whole term, otherwise there's heavy penalties. Um, Rex are allowing you to scrape a little bit of interest off the top as the contract goes off. But I do understand the point of stakers withdrawing stakes early, simply because they've accumulated so much money in that stake, they don't want to take the risk of waiting another two or four years, what if something happens and you can't get your hands on that money. So therefore, the option to withdraw some interest early does make sense, but it's not something that I fully agree with. Next feature, transferring stakes. Much needed, very important. It means that you can now onboard friends, family, people that are not into crypto, you can now onboard them and simply transfer the stake across to them once that process has been done, or you can even give the stake to somebody as a gift. Think about a wedding, a birthday, anything like that, you can now gift somebody a stake. I think that's an excellent addition to a certificate of deposit of this nature. You can also split stakes, which is another option as well. And again, if you are married or you're in a relationship of some sort, or perhaps you've got a business partner, maybe that relationship breaks down and you wanna be able to send them the other half, then the split stake allows you to do that. And I think, again, it's a great function and it just shows the evolution of these uh, certificate of deposit smart contracts. Very, very clever, much needed addition as well. Last but not least is the DEX, basically, which means that you can buy and sell stakes on a decentralized exchange. And the importance of this is absolutely incredible. And if it's done correctly, it could have the potential to take Rex into the stratosphere. It is an amazing feature to have. And it'd be interesting to see exactly how it works. So we'll keep our eyes open for that one, but very interesting. So my own personal story, I invested in Rex back in August of 2021. And it seemed to be going pretty well, but what happened was they found a bug in the system which meant people could manipulate it. So not very good at all. The price ended up crashing to zero and my five figure sum crashed to zero with it. Not impressed. However, they did keep the community engaged and they've been fantastic in that process all the way. Since then, they've announced that they're gonna be given full refunds in BUSD stablecoin for all losses that took place on Rex 1.0. And that for me is fantastic. It's not what you say in life, it's what you do. And if we actually get this, I have to say, it's very, very impressive indeed. The contract's been audited, it's at a hackathon, and if this contract can do what it said it's gonna do, then I think we're gonna be in a very, very strong position down the line. This could potentially be something where we do see hundreds, if not thousands of X's in the future. And if we use the RH logic of why can't something that's better have better price performance? Then I think this product fits into that category. So we will have to see, time will tell. Anybody thinking about doing this, you do need to take into account that this has failed before. Rec 2.0 we hope is gonna be much better, much more sustainable over the long term, and therefore have great longevity way into the future. But even though they have had issues in the past, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't bring this to your attention. And my final thoughts are, do your own research, have a good look at it. It does have the potential to rival Hex, 
but only time will tell whether or not that will actually happen. This is due for release very, very soon, and I will add my referral code to this when they become available. If you do decide you want to interact with this, you can use that referral code. You'll get 10% more rex when you get into the auctions. I'll also get 10% as well. It's a win-win situation. So guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Would you invest in a project like this, having gone through what I've gone through in the last four or five months? Guys, that's it for me today. Very quick video about this. There will be future videos coming out as this all develops. And uh, like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be keeping you updated with this as well as many other of the top projects around. Guys, remember nothing I've said here is financial advice today. Please do your own research before looking into any uh, products in crypto.